Hi there. This is a really quick video about a Schulte design height scraper turbo tree. Uh, I don't know towel radiator or something like that. 886 watts. Uh, this is not a full how to install it video. I don't plan on it to be. Maybe I will show a few things. But what I want to uh, give people the chance to ask me in the comments if this thing is good over the years or if it rusts away too quickly or anything bad happens to it. Because I basically bought it kind of blind. It was really cheap compared to others. When I put my hand on it, it did seem a bit thinner but nothing uh, dramatic. So we'll see how long it holds. So. People again ask me in the comments if this is still good over the years. When we open it up we get the warranty certificate and this, so three supports and all sorts of uh, things for the supports themselves and also this uh, which is the air release valve at least in theory, we will see that in a moment. Yeah, it is the air release valve and the plug. And even some uh, plastics for connecting this thing onto the wall. But I think I'm going to use something a bit beefier that I already have. Because we have two young daughters in the house and they might want to climb this at a point in time when we are not careful. So. Let's uh, start drilling holes in the wall and installing this uh, thing. About the wall mounts themselves, they are not the best polished ones that I have seen. Some burrs. But uh, overall, they seem to be sturdy enough. I've inserted uh, the screws in one of them, I need to do the same to the others. So you are a bit adjustable to where you want it from the wall, which is nice. And then with this screw you actually tighten it on the radiator itself. And obviously this is the end where you put those things in the wall but I'm going to put beefier ones. And they also give you washers to put on the inside of this obviously not on the outside like I was showing. Let's do some measurements, decide where I want this on the wall and continue. I recommend you use some kind of support until you decide the proper height for it, for the connections and uh, the holes that you drill into the wall. It's much easier. Just take a step back and think about it. Notice something else that more expensive ones don't have, this orange peel effect. Do I care? Nope, not really. Well, 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 first issue, when trying to put uh, this thingy in there, it seems it's throwing out all the Loctite. So the thread itself uh, isn't the greatest, I guess, or has, has really sharp edges. I have no idea. Didn't really have this happen with other uh, radiators. Nope, the threads are shit. We need to remake them. Remaking the thread, it did cut a little bit, but not a lot. We'll see if it's good enough now. Finally made it in there, it just threw out what was uh, extra to say like that, but uh, a hundred times better than what it was before. So, yep, the thread is not that good from factory, or at least not well fitting with what I'm using. Although I used this for all other radiators and it was just fine. But anyway, solved. I just need to clean up a little bit what's extra on the outside. Installed this and this and again we needed to use the tap because the thread is really bad on, uh, on this thing sadly. But to be fair we also had problems with these things and needed to use this and just look how much it cut out of it. Because we just couldn't thread uh, these things in it. They just wouldn't work. So yeah, everybody seems to make these kind of mistakes. Or at least almost everybody. Drilled holes in the wall. As much as I can, I tend to use the lines already existing. In case I ever need to change anything, the, the remains of this will be smaller. Anyway, so two there, one there. 
these are in this position so I will put the screw through this side and here we will have the nut putting this in place nut at the bottom screw at the top two of them my father is putting right there and uh, then put all this on the wall and the other screws will go through this so when you are adjusting it this cannot fall from the wall which is a really nice design of these plastic uh, thingies tightening up the supports uh, in some weird ways you can put the, uh, this any way you want to have better maybe access to the screws but this is what I wanted and I'm able to do it don't over tighten you are tightening on plastic so you can crack it but hey let's also fully tighten the other two and we are done just now I noticed the instructions while I was throwing away the paper so they give you lots of info right here hopefully it will help somebody for me it's a bit too late and on the other side next steps with uh, dimensions but for me uh, I will show you it was a bit different in theory you want to have uh, the supports as high as possible two of them and down below one of them I have this configuration but I couldn't put them as high <sighs> and in here feel free to pause at any time if anything interesting uh, can be found in there text is really 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 tiny anyway so I have that configuration one down there and two up there but nothing would align properly so i was uh, forced to put them in here what remains to be done another day connection here and obviously connection there and because the guys that put the pipes in the walls were kind of morons and the whole house has this I this issue i don't have the proper dimension so as you can see we are not lining up so I will need to do some weird stuff with plastic pipe in there, but at least one of them does line up, so yay. Well, this is what uh, we end up uh, doing. Yeah, I know, but I wanted this to be going in this direction, because if I ever decide to put a thermostatic head on it, it would be quite big. And if it was in here, it would simply poke out uh, and uh, when you go uh, to the uh, bathtub, you would hit your uh, feet on it. So yeah, doesn't really make sense. But yeah, it looks as you see it. Anyway, thank you guys that put the pipes in the wall. And uh, the other one, it's normal. So yeah, that's about it. It's being in use for, I don't know, half a year already without absolutely any issues and we don't uh, see a reason that it would have issues at least not uh, too quickly and that's about it so problem with threads and the orange peel effect on the paint itself nothing else basically so in the end that's about it for this video you can ask in the comments uh, how this holds up over the years I will do my best to give feedback and those hooks are not included they just <laughs> latch onto the radiator itself I bought them separately I think about two dollars one of them or something like that from a hardware store anyway that's about it and daughter in the background if you have any questions feel free to ask and see you in the next one bye